Hello. Now that you're on the education newsroom, uh, when you click on news and events, you will find all these options. Here you can see the education newsletter for the month of May. And if you click on the newsroom, that's the place where you um, submit your article for the education newsletter. And now that you are on the education newsroom, let's learn how we can submit our article on the education newsletter. Uh, for the reference of this video, I'm taking an example of an article that was published in the last month's education newsletter. Uh, I will show you how you can submit your article in both visual editor and source editor. So the reference that I'm taking is of this uh, particular article, which was submitted by Nebosha uh, from Wikimedia Serbia. And it's talking about a program that they are doing uh, in Serbia using Wikibooks. So we will see how the how you submit the education newsletter and how it appears like this. Um, so for the reference, I'm going to use the same title, same content, and show you how we do. So if you scroll down, you see this section in the page on the page, uh, submit an article for this month in education. And there's an input box which says title of your article. So as I mentioned, I'm going to use the same title, but I've added example at the end to show that this is just an example. Um, now, now, now please, please add the title of your article to this box. Um, a good title usually gets the attention of a reader and it says what the project is about. Um, keep it sh short as well. <laughs> um, and after you put the title here, you can see if I'm removing it, this particular thing is in gray, but if I add the title, it becomes blue. So I'm going to click on this and it will take me to a space where I can drop my own newsletter article. So I did, I had, so now you can see that uh, we have, the format right now in source editor. So you can see it's asking me for the article title. You don't have to put an article title because it will automatically tick uh, the title that you have given here. So you don't need to uh, make changes to this particular, uh, particular section. Uh, you also don't need to add anything to the author section because it will take uh you as the author for for the for the last edit that you have made uh so what you have to do now is to put a short summary of the uh, article that you are you'll be publishing uh like maybe a snippet to show like what uh the reader will find in this article if you have a picture add your pictures here uh and the caption for the picture here uh, if you're you if you're using an, this for an event, you can you put the hashtag of the event here, and under the description below this particular instruction, um, add your like write your article here, and let me show you. So when you when you add your article there, and when you add a summary as well. You use between the translate tags because then uh, it will get translated. Use between the translate tags. So now let's, let's show, let's see like how it will look like. Boom, so this is how your article, article will appear. Now let's see, let's say that we don't, we don't use source editor and we use visual editor. Actually it's more easier with a uh, visual editor. So I'm going to switch to visual editor here. And something like this will appear. So don't be scared. What you're going to do is take your mouse here and do a double click. And we have a template. So again, 
all the instruction have been mentioned for like what you have to do while writing the newsletter article. Remember, don't change this part. Don't change this part. And then we have an instruction, write your summary inside the translation tag. So I'm going to write the summary here. Then I'm going to write, so there's a description field as well. So I'm going to do the same old thing, copy from here. Paste it here. Oh, maybe I did a mistake. <laughs> so paste it here actually, not there. So paste it here. Now I have the article. So all you have to do is publish and remember, do not make changes to the categories that are all, already there. Uh, if, if you see, it has a category of education news that are drafts. Don't make changes to that because um, then your article gets lost between all the hundreds and thousands of millions of meta pages. And it's difficult to uh, get published in the same month. So do not remove the categories. So that's all. Thanks for listening to me.